Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. So, a lot of you have wanted to get into bug bounties. Today I'm going to lay out a little bit of the fundamentals before you get into bug bounties. Please watch this. So there's a couple of things that I find very, very important. First of all, if you're watching this on YouTube, this will be part of the 2023 bug bounty guide. If you're watching this in the bug bounty guide, welcome my friends. It's important that you take all of these characteristics in mind and later we'll look at picking a program and platform as well. But there are some general truths we need to talk about. First of all, we're going to talk about bug bounties not being the same as hunting bugs. We're also going to talk a little bit about why bug bounties is not even the same as hacking anymore in my opinion. Bug bounties are not a reliable way of getting money and they're not exploitative of researchers. All of those views might be a little bit conflicting but you'll see when we get to them. So first of all let's start. I want to get something out of this world and want to make something very clear. Bug bounties is a terrible name. Bug hunting we're not really hunting for bugs look at this from a different perspective my friends the company needs to increase their security usually they have already done vulnerability scans pen tests so you know that they have decent coverage they're looking for additional coverage which pen test either doesn't have time for or just didn't get to remember you're securing an application you're testing if that application is secure and you're adding your own spin to the classical coverage that has been achieved through other means what we don't do is hunt bugs for money or for fame or for whatever what we do do is verify our targets security level against our own skill level at a specific point in time because we learn as we grow as well and sometimes it's even a little bit of a gamble what to investigate what program to pick what platform to pick do i look into this is this another rabbit hole sometimes luck is involved a little bit as well am i first to find this etc etc so next up i also want to highlight that bug bounties isn't pen testing it's not even hacking anymore pen testers are usually the first to hit the target they get all the low-hanging fruit and they use vulnerability scanners often. When a vulnerability scanner is not used, there's usually a reason for it, but usually in a normal pen test, it is definitely a supportive role that vulnerability scanners fulfill. In bug bounties, there's no real use for that because a vulnerability scanner is a scanner. Once it has been run, it's been run. And usually these run in CICD pipelines as well. Now, really take this into consideration. Bug bounty hunters are usually the last to hit the target. We are the last in line. And sometimes even a lot of people have gone before us in the bug bounty segment because we might be late to the party. That being said, don't get discouraged if other people have been testing before you. Everybody adds their own unique spin and you can investigate whatever you like. We cannot think the same way pen testers do. A pen tester can usually use a methodology, uh, they can use a checklist, they can go through the application, but we really need to adapt and overcome. Creativity, speed, those are going to be some of our biggest assets here. Now, again, what's also important, ooh, and that's a double slide I see, let's remove that later on, but bug bounties are not really reliable to get money. Even if you're the best hunter ever, even if you can find consistent bugs, even if nothing is a duplicate, you get triaged fast, it can still take a while to get paid. If you want to go full time, remember this, don't jump into it without thinking. First of all, try it, try it yourself for a little bit, see how far you can go and start thinking in bigger time frames because monthly t paychecks will be something from the past. Now you're going to get like maybe a big buck every three months or something like that. Uh, you'll have to start thinking in different time frames and be prepared to make a lot less than a full time job. Especially here in Belgium. I know that the wages are quite high here compared to other countries maybe. But believe me, sometimes 
compared to the amount of hours that has been put into a bug, it's not even worth it for some people, especially if you consider that pen testing does make a decent amount of money. And last of all, I think it's important to highlight that bug bounties are not exploitative of researchers. The company doesn't owe us a damn thing. The company has the right to withhold payouts. Those payouts, those rewards are a privilege. And I know it might sound strange because of course you might be putting in hundreds of hours and not getting anything, but this is the same as a salesperson who gets paid based on commission. They don't get paid until they make a sale. You don't get paid until you find something and not even all programs pay even. You might get vulnerability disclosure programs which just give you points, but you are life hacking. You're hacking a real target. You're not obligated to do this, but you can have some fun. You're not bound to scope specifically in a way that a pen tester is where he has to cover everything with every type of attack and for the coverage, etc. You can do whatever you like. If you don't like SQL injection, skip it. You're the tester. You're getting rewarded for securing a real target, my friends. So with that in the back of your mind, let's go on to the next chapters.